I didn't set out to be a writer. It came about when I was nearing 30 that I realised that there are many things that I would like to do. And writing came first in my mind. I thought about writing as a way to talk about the world around me, talk about my life, other people's life. And it seems that only words can do what the rest can't. The m most important thing about writing is that it creates a word in a reader's head and that is gratifying to know when I, I, I see a reader reading and uh, it's forming this entire universe in the head because what we can form out of this universe from the words we read is actually made out of all the materials from the, the reader's life so the word that I form in my head when I read a particular book by say Ishiguro could be very a different word that exists uh, in the world that you form in your head when you read his work. I started my first novel in 2010 when I was attending a writing residency in Iowa. The idea of the story came in 2004 when I was in Thailand for a holiday uh, in December and the Asian tsunami happened. And I actually received a call from a concerned friend who was asking me about my whereabouts and, and I was curious about things that can potentially happen if I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I think the theme of loss has been a perennial theme in my work. One type of losses is the big losses. You lose the big things about uh, life. That's death, that's a big loss. You lose a relationship, that's another big loss. You lose a sense of self, which is a big loss. And there are those smaller losses that you lose along the way. Losses that you feel at the point of time is not important. But actually, you, you can't accumulate all these losses. And this is the aspect of loss that I kind of explore in the whole novel. That is this sense that you are always losing, yeah, and you will always be losing along the way. <laughs>